Breast Cancer Journal, Day 11. You know, one of the blessings of getting a little bit older is you come to realize that when people get angry about things, it's really about them, it's not about us. When you're stuck in traffic, when you have a family member who just lets go at you, it's very easy to take it in and let it ruin our day. But should it really? Because ultimately it's their problem. It's not our problem. I can remember when I was in my twenties, I had just had a really good work day and I ended up seeing my dad and he'd like bit my head off for no reason. Like, whoa, what on earth? What's going on here? And I went, I, I, uh, walked away and then I came back and I said, listen, I, I was having a great day. What are you so angry about? And more importantly, why do you feel it's necessary to ruin my day? I don't remember what he said, but anyway, we got through it, but that was a really important lesson for me. And I think it's really important that we have good boundaries that we not allow anybody on the outside, especially if they're having a bad day, to dump on us and give it to us. So I found myself in a really interesting situation the other day. I have started seeing a renowned physical therapist to help me with my TMJ and my neck, because the right side of my neck is just all messed up. And I was getting a little frustrated um, because every time I went to his office, I've been there like five times now, I've waited a long time. And the first time I was there, I waited 40 minutes and I almost walked out. Second time I was there, 30 minutes. A couple of days ago, I had a 4.30 appointment. By 5.15, uh, I was done and I just said, listen, I'm sorry, you guys are obviously running late. I'm going to walk, I'm going to leave and we can do it again. And I wasn't, I was annoyed. I wasn't angry, but I was annoyed and a little frustrated thinking, you know what? Maybe this really isn't the right clinic for me to be at. And then yesterday I had yet another appointment at this time. It was in the middle of the day and I waited like 20 minutes and I was back getting ready in my brain to just say, okay, I'm done with this clinic. It felt very disrespectful. But then I got to see him. And oh my God, it was in a, a fantastic appointment. And he spent an hour with me. And he found things that everybody else had missed about the way my shoulder and my neck are kind of messed up. Uh, like, for example, um, I don't look straight ahead. I always tilt a little bit to the left. Uh, my shoulders always popped out. I mean, he thinks that a lot of these are old tennis injuries from when I was younger. So here this man spent an hour with me, and it was really an amazing appointment. And I could have walked out and missed it. And instead, I remember, you know, wait a second. Why was he late for those other appointments? because he was giving really, really good service to somebody else. And so the lesson for me here is patience. Patience. It's okay to wait. It's okay to wait to 10 minutes. It's okay to wait 15 minutes. It's okay to wait 20 minutes. It's okay to ask if everything's okay. It's okay to ask if they're running late. And if you've got other things going on, it's okay to to, to reschedule your appointment. I really feel humbled. <laughs> Here I was in my mighty Jill Osborne. I'm not getting good service. You know what? I got fantastic service yesterday. And he pushed back all those other appointments so that he could spend an hour with me. And I'm so grateful. And so a note to self, not to let things like waiting upset you and ruin your day. Sometimes there's a really good reason why you have to wait. Sometimes there's somebody else 
that needs more support than you. And when you go to a urologist or when you go to a gynecologist, you gotta remember that they're working with cancer patients. And you might be in there for a UTI, you might be in there for something else, but we don't know, you don't know what challenges they face. You don't know the patient they just worked with that they just had to tell they might have terminal cancer. And I think the more patience we can bring to our lives and just not letting things like this upset us, it's okay to wait. So that's my thought for today. What do you think? Love to hear your thoughts. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow I'm meeting with a cancer surgeon. Wish me luck.